What's up everyone here and I think it makes video party. I'm so excited to upload this one for you guys because this video we'll be taking a look at an anime that is taking me a long time to finish. And it's actually one of the first anime that I ever watched and that would be Gate. Okay, so to provide some context to this, back when my cousin got me into Sword Art Online 2014, that was the only anime that I was fully invested in because it was my very first anime. But once the second season was finally over, and after I watched the dubbed version on Adult Swim, that was when I decided to hop onto another anime that was somewhat similar to SAO. And what do you know, I somehow managed to stumble across this isekai anime that puts the Japanese self-defense forces against dragons, wizards, and knights. So I figured I'd give this anime a shot, but at some point, I sort of lost interest in it and fell off the wagon and just never got back on. Fast forward to the end of last year and I catch my brother re-watching this series on his computer and I figured why not get back onto the wagon and re-watch this series again with my brother. So this anime came out back in 2015 and focuses on the Japanese government dealing with a crisis when a magical gate leading to a fantasy world opens up right in the middle of Tokyo. Shortly after, an army of knights and monsters come charging through the gate as they enter the modern world before leaving behind a trail of bodies. In response to this attack, the country decides to send in the JSDF, which is pretty much the Japanese military, to go through the gate and establish a base. And then the series takes off from there as we see these modern day soldiers enter a fantasy world. And it turns out how you would expect when you see these knights who are carrying nothing but swords and shields come across today's weapons who are just shredded by bullets. Once the kingdom of this world gets a good taste of what Japan can do, a fragile piece is made between these two countries, where the series then begins to focus on the day-to-day -day lives of these soldiers currently occupying this fantasy world. Obviously, one of the things that I really loved about this series is definitely the action, because how often do you get to see a dragon go up against tanks, helicopters, and jets? And some of the battle scenes really do answer some nerd questions that we've all asked each other at some point. If you were sent to a primitive world with modern technology, how long do you think you would last? Well, if you're a soldier carrying a gun who is going up against people carrying swords and shields, chances are you're pretty much declared the strongest guy in the room. And throughout the series, we get several scenes where we see these characters rack up the kill count like it's a video game. Especially in one particular scene where one character really does show you that girls can fight too. But aside from all the action, one of the other things I really liked about the show is how even though the anime focuses on what the military is doing, it also focuses on what the government is up to. Which does tend to lead to some very political moments as we see how the Japanese government is handling this sort of situation, given that there is a magical gate that leads to a fantasy world right in the middle of their country. That's not to say that they're the only country struggling with this as we've seen the first season that other countries are also very interested in this gate for their own political reasons. And when you see countries like the US, China, and Russia get involved, it makes perfect sense because if this sort of thing were to happen, countries from all over the world would come to Japan to try to take advantage of the situation for their own personal gain. But even though there is some corruption here and there, the first season of the anime doesn't really have a villain or antagonist to push the story forward and raise the stakes for our characters. Now that I think about it, most of the first season is pretty much meant to establish some common ground as it wants viewers to get acquainted with how both worlds function by putting you in the position of our main characters who are going back and forth between this fantasy kingdom and Japan. Because as we get into the second season, while the story does bring out more action, it also reestablishes the political aspect of the show. But now we get to see how the government of this fantasy world runs things, which then has its Game of Thrones moments as we see the villains of this show begin to emerge and start figuring out how to deal with the invading Japanese forces. And I liked how they handle the main villain, as she's pretty much the devil on the shoulder who starts manipulating the kingdom from behind the scenes throughout the entire second season. Now one of the things that I was a little disappointed about was how the second season ends. Even though it had a happy ending, it was also very open-ended to where you start to remember that there are some questions that were left unanswered as if the anime was setting you up for a third installment. However, it's been a long time since we heard from the showrunners, and given that this series is coming up on seven years, I highly doubt we're going to get another season. But despite that, I still had fun with this anime. Even though the series clocks in at a total of 24 episodes, you get a lot of bang for your buck, as you not only get to watch modern-day soldiers go up against fantasy monsters, but at the same time you get some political moments that are almost Game of Thrones level. And despite the ending being a bit open-ended, you pretty much get the idea of what happens in the near future, which in turn closes the book on this story. So if you're interested in watching a fantasy anime with modern-day guns, I highly recommend you watch this show. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. That was my overall review for Gates. If you like what you saw, click on the subscribe button so you can get all these updates from this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye-bye.